Joshua here. Jean here. Today we're talking about sex education in the East versus in the West. What was your sex education like? Very early on. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sex education in the US around like fifth grade. And how old would that be? 10 years old, 11 years That's old. Very young. Topics we discuss are mm. reproduction, uh, sexually transmitted infections or diseases, mm -hmm. how to prevent them, mm -hmm. and then obviously safe sex. Mm -hmm. We split up the boys and mm -hmm. the girls. Mm -hmm. Sex education for me was when I was in middle school, which was 14, 15 years old. Wow. Yeah, and we also separate the girls and the boys. I have no knowledge of what the boy class actually talk about. But well, I just gave you a little bit of an overview. In our sex education, very very limited sex education. We talk about like period and how, what to do when you have period and what, okay. should, what should you expect. And that's it. It's still a very taboo thing to talk about sex in China actually. I just remember like when a boy accidentally walked into the girls class, like all the girls were like screaming ah! as if like it's not something that boys should know about. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. But after that, in high school, I had no sex education in university. I had no sex education. Well, at that time, it's more of like on site training. <laughs> when we have to do annual uh, health checks yeah. for girls, we have two packages one is for married women, and the other one is for not married or single women. And the only difference is that for married women, you are it basically said it basically indicate that you're sexually um, active. active. It almost sends a message that sex is not common before marriage. When I actually did the 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 health check, the nurse in the clinic actually asked me if I'm married because I chose the sexually active package, um, and she didn't use the word sexually active as if it's not okay to use. Or so like, what did she say? No, she just she just asked me, uh, are you married? I, I was like, no, I'm not, but I still chose the package. So, oh, okay. Do you feel like she's judging you? It's interesting. A lot of people still don't want to say the word sex in yeah. the public setting. Sex. So if you show up in the clinic when you do a health check, you just can say, oh, I chose the marriage pack instead of oh. I chose a sexually active. What was your like exposure like? to sex in, in your yeah. setting. In the US from, uh, or even in a Western setting, we are typically exposed to sex mm -hmm. very early on. So in music and movies and TV dramas, mm. I mean, kissing is very normal, sex is very normal. Mm. I was growing up during this time when uh, American Pie was super famous. Mm -hmm. So on a daily basis, it's not abnormal mm. for us to have these conversations with yeah. our friends or when we go to the doctor's office. Mm. In the US for me, going to get health checkups mm. for sexually transmitted diseases mm. is quite normal. Mm. So for us, it, it seems almost more of a natural conversation. It's the exact opposite for me. Like I remember like when we're reading these like romantic novels yeah. and the, the guys were almost like glorified virgin like if their girlfriend is not virgin they will break up with them i think all the information that we got when we're growing up is like stay a virgin until you are married and somehow you will figure out how to have sex once you are married i think there's still a lot of like education needed in the mm -hmm. chinese uh, society uh, in the chinese formal education yeah. i do see a lot of these um uh, sex awareness uh, social groups um, popping up here and there and yeah. they will form like a safe environment for the Chinese community to really talk about this because everyone is curious about sex. I bought some sex toys from Tian Mall and I was actually super impressed mm -hmm. by the variety of sex toys that were actually available. Is it made in China? Yeah. Oh, okay. It came with like lubricant, it came with mm -hmm. Even these different instructions. instructions on how to clean the sex toys, mm -hmm. all in Chinese. It would be really great if um, the Chinese society can get to a point where talking about sex is just like talking about weather. Even in the meantime, I've noticed what can we do, right? Mm -hmm. How can we have an impact on having these conversations? And yeah, again, sex, yeah. yeah, normalizing sex. And I think, again, it comes from sex education. We can stem it into one being healthy, mm. and two, being pleased, right? Being happy with our sex lives. I'm gonna text Jing next week and I'm gonna say, hey, do you wanna go get a coffee and talk about sex? Of course, sure. Exactly.